and welcome to the Cat Collective. I'm Nina, I'm the channel for this channel. And let's start. Feels kind of funny to me. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is strength. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I think that's a message to your spirit team almost. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> it's like um, you're sitting um, in front of a closed door, right, and feeling a bit stuck and depressed almost. It's like you're waiting for for um, your spirit team to bring you your gifts that you have, uh, that you are entitled to, right? Because it just doesn't feel right that you are sitting in front of a closed door that you know, you kind of know what's behind there, right? And you're wondering why, like the brown star, right? It's like, like almost this, oh, in German, you've got a phrase for this, <laughs> uh, the Arschkarte ziehen. <laughs> Okay, this means um you pulled the butt, butt card. Yeah, the butt card. <laughs> uh, and you're wondering, did you pull the butt card or what's wrong here, right? Because you're like waiting for, for your entitled gifts to come in. <laughs> and this is almost a talk to your spirit team. It's like, what are you waiting for? Bring me the movement, you know? It's like they are watching. <laughs> it's like they are watching. And it's like, Bring me the movement finally. What do you think? What what do you think that I'm waiting for? Do, like that I will like <laughs> almost that I will sit in the shower and rock back and forth or what? Until the water is, is cold and then apply Wim Hof breathing techniques to endure the cold? <laughs> it's like bring it on finally, right? <laughs> It's almost like, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're almost feeling a little bit like, well, <laughs> right? It's like, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's almost a bit like, why, why am I sitting here and waiting for what? Is it going to come or am I going to rust here? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a funny one. <laughs> yeah, right. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's funny though. Like, it's like yeah, you're calling it and you're waiting for it. It's like, like why, why am I even waiting? Like, is this like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It's is it arrogant? No, I don't think so. It's almost like... Mm, it's almost like... Uh, um, yeah, you know when you're, when you're sitting in front of, of a closed door that you know you have the key to, you know? in a way, right? Why, like, why is it like, you know, it's this, why do you have to feel like this? This, this is not a bad card for you, right? It's like, um, <laughs> something gets, uh, uh, has to be done, right? Because um, maybe, yeah, maybe it's like, maybe your spirit team is a bit um, concerned that you might not be able to you know, it's like with the shower thing that you might be a bit, um, that it might be too much for you, right? But all you are doing is waiting for, 
for your gifts to arrive. It's like to, to you know, for your abilities to arrive. It's just for movement to happen. And they are like uh, almost like watching you and like very uh, tiptoeing into it and being like, yeah, really, you know, do you really want that? And you're like, yeah, come on, bring it on finally. <laughs> it's like that. It's really like that. Yeah, but it also kind of trans transforms into a, a different situation. Almost that you are a part of a game. No, not a game. Is it a game? Well, you are part of a system, right? It's almost an ecosystem with those two planets. And you are this figure here. But look... Those are two planets, right? Planets that have inhabitants. Well, you don't know if this planet has some, right? But you assume that. Let's assume this planet has some inhabitants as well, right? And you are fl free floating in space like an astronaut, uh, juggling those uh, one bigger planet and smaller planet, like juggling the planet. And you are the only volunteer here. And the other ones have got inhabitants. And you're like, yeah, well, uh, this is like, you know, it's almost like, you know, when you, when you are, um, when you are volunteering in a position and doing a lot of work, the same work the others do, but you don't, uh, you don't get paid for it. Why should you even like, except it's really something that really, uh, is fun for you, which is nice for a time, but it's like. Why do you have to juggle? It's this, you know, it's like uh, those balls that you uh, um, have and that uh, um, juggling. Is that, ju is that the word? Do you know what I mean? It's like you're a planet too. Look at that. What kind of a planet this, this is. You are an even bigger planet, right? Intimidating almost, right? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> right? And it's like, this, it's like, bring it on finally, right? Because it's like, that's not fair, you know? You know that uh, some, some um, um, <clears throat> organizations, they just, they just uh, um, use uh, volunteering to really, uh, or, yeah, to, to just, uh, um, to give them work that normally should be paid for. That's what I'm getting. It's like, um, or normally should be also valued in some ways, right? Um, in a way like, uh, but they, they don't do it because they want to save, save what? Money? You know, a little bit of a cheap thing. And you're, you're the, the figure juggling all of this, <laughs> you know? And uh, it's like this just like at some point things start to have to happen, right? <laughs> That's what I'm getting with this. And it could also be, you know, this this um, position that you have, you know, it's like uh, doing um, overtime uh, when in fact you shouldn't, right? Because uh, the value in this is not given, right? And it's like um, a bit um, yeah, you know it causes you to be a bit stressed as well, right? And that's the main issue for you that you are just uh, um, waiting in front of a closed door. maybe you are you you are volunteering and waiting to be hired, but uh, they don't hire you, so why should you? You know, uh, at some point, you 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 cannot um, juggle all of this, right? So it transforms from this spirit thing to real life thing. Maybe maybe it is all of it. It's like you're waiting for your for your uh, spiritual gifts, and you're wondering what else you have to do. You know, um, 
after a certain amount of this planet where where's your where's your right you know because this is not sustainable anymore now that you know more right and i mean you know more because you have done the work right it's not that you were just uh, um um chilling and everything no you, you juggled a lot of things right to to do this uh to to have this um to have reached this point and it's like at some point you know you have proven yourself enough right there's no point of you um being excluded and single you know the the only one who, who isn't the planet it's like at some point you know It's almost like also with the, with the with those um, gifts. It's like, what what are you waiting for, spirit? It's like, I mean, uh, the door is nice, right? You you probably have studied the door for a long time, and and even though there's nothing uh, drawn on this card, you know every crack in this freaking door. You watched through it so many years, right? And done all, you've done all of this, right? And now something's got to give. And uh, movement has to happen because... Yeah, that's almost the, the state of, uh, of affairs that you, you are in because you don't get the to um, go further in the next step you don't get to um, experience the next uh, the next uh, um, you know if, if you, the next uh, point of of uh, development it's it's like it's just not happening you know this your current state probably because um, when you're juggling a lot And you're trying to survive somehow, right, in this. And you're waiting for things to, to occur. Then you're like, well, at some point, you know, they can't just watch you and, and eat popcorn or what? It's like, are you a circus or something? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it's funny. It's, it's a bit of a... <laughs> almost... um. Um, I don't know. It's almost like, well, at some point, like, so. <laughs> um, because if you, if you are uh, doing all the work uh, voluntarily, uh, <laughs> that's not, that's not part of the, like, that's not fair, is it? So let's see. If you find a word, um, then, uh, while well, I'm shuffling, it's yours. <laughs> Okay. You start. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Secrets. Success. <laughs> yeah. Reflection. Contest. <laughs> Free associate. Yeah, well, that's. Uh, I think you wish you could do that as this free associate. Allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. Yeah, this is almost, even though this says, uh, says free associate, it's just an abundance card. You know, it's like, you know, there's, there's plenty out there for everyone, right? And you're waiting for, for your... Uh, Yeah, for for your full um, development, almost. It's like you're waiting for this to come in, and you're wondering why is that? Like <sighs> reflection, time to focus, balance, reflect, and guide yourself past stumbling blocks to take the right actions. In contests. Contest, be yourself fully, and you are without compare. A true winner of uh, the only contest that matters, which is all right. 
but these are almost looking like they came out of the bronze star. <laughs> Uh, no, it's like um, they they look like chocolate chocolate figures to me <laughs> um, today because I didn't eat chocolate in a while. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, it's it's really um, what do they remind me of? Contest like you. Yeah, I mean you you are yourself, right? But I mean you you you. I think you, it took you a while to get where you are, right? And that's okay. So you've arrived where you are right now, right? And and, and it's it's looking good. So I think it's like um, almost, um, you know, those figures, they are um, carved out of uh, mm, mm, they are carved, uh, like they are sculptures, right? And it took you a while to get where you are right now, right? So that's okay, um, because that's only uh, that only indicates that that you have traveled a, a, a far path already. And um, yeah, and um, the reflection is also yeah. Even though you are uh, you want that, you also know that you to uh, you had to to have your uh, time of development until you've reached your current point, right? And so there's no need to be uh, somewhat sad and something like that, self-pity, no need for that. And I don't think that you are doing that. It's just that, um, um, well, you took your time um, to develop yourself and your your um, position within the system, right? But at some point there must be, uh, you know, there must uh, something you know, you, you have to step up because it's like um, enough of that, right? Enough of this um, uh, waiting game. Uh, waiting game is over, right? So that's okay. It's just a funny card though. Because I love this landscape. I think you that's like something else that also wants to still come in with uh, to you that you haven't uh included in this just yet but it can be included um so um there's something else that wants to come in um which is good um it just uh shows on it's like well this figure is almost looking like it's starving right I mean, if you have been in a in a position like that I've described for a while, of course it can take uh, some, um, you know, it ha can have an impact on you. That is, uh, um, a bit like that feels a bit like starving because um, um, because it's been a journey, right? It's been a long journey and <clears throat> a really long one, right? And um, well, it's time that you that you look like that, right? In this beautiful place, right? You know, and um, you've been through so much that um, you can actually um, afford almost to have this position to say to say it like I said it in this reading. You know, to say, like, bring it on because um, you've been through so much and you've evolved so much that you are at a point where you deserve everything that uh, you want, right? And you can acknowledge that. And it's not arrogance. It's just, uh, you know, a rational observation. It's can be even objective. It's like from where you've started to now, You've you've traveled a long path, and therefore, um, you know it's it's only it's only fair that uh, the doors are being opened to you, and also that that you are prepared and that um, you are not the the same person as you were when you started this, right? So you are you have developed into um, you've you've worked your way through the silver mess, right? 
even though it still feels like you're in it. But if you really look back on what you have already achieved in your life and what you have done and what you've been through and all of this, it's only fair, right? It's justice. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something else that wants to be said? <laughs> be bold and make the first move. Yeah, that's what you've done, right? You've declared your position. You, you de you've declared, well, here I am. Bring it on, right? And the energy is gaining momentum, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's been an uphill battle. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's only fair that you can uh, sit on the mountain and look and observe and just get what you what, what's your right right yeah so mm, step out of your comfort zone <laughs> ah well you're asking for this right because your comfort zone i think is just um this uphill battle almost i think you've you we've become so used to be the volunteer in all of this right that you are almost that this is almost your comfort zone and this is only you know um this is only this is a step out of your comfort zone that you are um not willing to be the volunteer anymore unless something happens you know and it's the same with the with um like also like with your spiritual um side it's like um well something's gotta gotta happen right because uh this is uh this is just a bit uh you know uh out of a time frame you know it's like it's been a while and you took your time well, fair enough it's not it's not it's not uh it's not particularly uh like it's it's also up to you right how how long it took you but still um just uh sitting sitting there and waiting is not it's not really anymore for you and it's it's a uh, uh, leaving your comfort zone right i mean imagine transforming from from a from a person to a planet right that's that's a huge trans transformation it's not particularly just comfortable not at all right um yeah so but be assured that you will get there and um that you can dance in the gold <laughs> um, yeah so <clears throat> yeah, uh, I hope this reading was helpful. Let's see who this reading is for. Capricorn, there we are. Yeah, um, additional info is in the litter box below. And see you next time. Bye-bye.